Hey y'all, let's take a look at area as a difference. Now you, ought to be, you should know when you're talking about arithmetic and algebra, this word means something. What does the word difference mean in arithmetic? It's the answer to what pro kind of problem? It's a subtraction problem, right? Okay, so let's go back and do one of the ones we did before. Go ahead and pause it right now and find out the area of this figure and unpause when you're done. Okay. You should have gone something like this. Like, I don't know the distance of this, and I don't know what this is, but I can figure it out. So this is 12, that's 6, so oh, this must be 6 here. And this is 8, so that's 4, so this must also be 4. Okay, I want to make this into two rectangles. So 6 times 8 is 48, and then I have this one is 6, and then times 4 is 24. 48 plus 24 is 72. Got it. Okay, and you'd be right. Okay, there you go. Now we're going to do this in a different way. We're going we're to subtract. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. You notice it's the same thing, right? We better get 72, right? Okay, so we're going to do this instead. We're going to pretend like this entire thing, there's nothing cut out of the top right, and it's a whole, like a big, um, I don't know, some big rectangle. It's a giant gluten-free cracker your mom forces you to eat. Okay, so let's just pretend the whole thing is chop, chop, just completely filled in, right? Everything's completely filled in. Well, if you did that, you'd have 8 times 12. That's 96, right? Oh, it's 96. Okay. But the only thing is, it isn't 96. Because this chunk here is gone. We already know from before that this is 4 here, right? That's the distance because that's 8 and this is 4, so that has to be 4. We also know that this part here is 6 from here to here because this is 12 and that's 6 and so on. Well, you tell me, what is the area then of that? 24, right? So to find the area of the actual figure, we have to chop out the 24, and lo and behold, look at there, it works. So that's area as a difference. You just subtract it, and we find the entire rectangle first, then you subtract it, and then boom, you got it, okay? Let's do another. Let's look at this together. Okay, so same thing, feet, all angles, right angles, and blah, 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 blah and so on. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna pretend like this entire thing is a whole rectangle. <laughs> yeah, I can't draw. Okay, there you go. And uh, there, right there. Oh, look at there. There's a little open spot right there. Does that bother any of you OCDers out there? It's just kind of open right there. Oh, I'll just leave it. No, I'll go ahead and close it. Okay, anyway. All right. Well, if we didn't have those empty areas, those rectangles there, we would just say that this thing is 10 units across. And then, of course, this part's two right there, and you over there, right there. So the whole thing is four, right? So the whole thing would be 40, but it ain't because we've got to chop out this part and we got to chop out that part, right? So this part here is two by two or four, and this part here is two by four or eight. So four and eight are 12. Subtract that, and the entire thing is 28. That's using area as a difference. Okay, all right. Try the practice problems on page 85. In fact, there are both of them. And do, um, oops, do the first one and just pause it. Or pause it, then do the first one. Okay, well, let's do subtraction here. And then I'm gonna go oop, like that. And then over yet another perfect rectangle. If I were to assume the entire thing were filled in, this would be eight by 10 or 80, but it's not filled in. Okay, this thing is 10, this is 4, so this is going to have to be 6, right, from here to here. Also, if this is 8 and that's 4, this will have to be 4. So we're going to have to subtract 4 times 6 from 80, and that will give us 56. So this is 56 units. All right, pause it now and try B. Okay, this is kind of funky looking here, isn't it? Okay, let's see here. Well, let's just assume... It's all there. So 10, by, 10 times 20 is 200. But we, we have this part right here that is not filled in. So we have to take that out of there. It's 5 by 5, which is 25. So we're going to subtract that. So 200 minus 25 is 175. So that's your answer. Okay. All right. Good luck on those today. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.